Well, with students back in the classroom, some of Virginia's top educators are now getting a look at how reopening plans are going. 10 News reporter Andy Schroeder shows us why schools in our region are the first stop on the list. For Virginia's First Lady Pam Northam, there's no place like the classroom. Such joy throughout the halls. It's like the first day of school again when you walk through and the kids are so excited to be back with their friends. Northam was joined by other top state leaders to tour both Galax and Hillsville Elementary Schools Tuesday to review how in-person learning has been going. And we appreciate the school personnel and the teachers who've gone way above and beyond very creatively and innovatively to make sure that kids are safe and learning at the same time. So we really appreciate that. One of the biggest discussions on today's tour was access to the vaccine. Although every educator in the state has now had the chance to get the shot, state leaders are still looking at ways to keep everyone safe in and out of the classroom. We're, we're hopeful there's an emergency use authorization for 12 to 15 year olds with the Pfizer vaccine. We'll see what the, the FDA does with that because that eligibility may change. Another important issue on the mind of educators is helping children close any gaps in learning that may have been created in the last year. Uh, it's their choice and it's the school's uh, choice if they want to do any extended learning, uh, whether it's Saturday school, whether it's summer learning opportunities, um, or getting really creative with year-round school. We've seen our literacy scores drop since this began. We, our teachers are reporting concerns about social and emotional development in our children. So we really want to get them back to where we know they can have the best schooling opportunities, which is right here at school. Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.